on the other side of the Lenny's Lounge. Yeah, on the, I know exactly. That that's what I'm speaking of. I, I remember it. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, one was there. Yes, yeah. one was there. Yeah. So Yusuf Shaw was in charge of all that, gotcha. but Yusuf Shaw he had he talking about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had mistress over age and underage. Yusuf Shaw wasn't no fucking better. Mm. See y'all, they could be talking, but I know this in here. I know this stuff, man. So I'm saying to you, bro, it's a shame how that went down, and it's a shame. But that one sister, she, bro, if she told you her story, I'm proud of her because she fought, she fought all them, bro. Uh, they wouldn't let her in. She would spit on them and kick them on, on the leg. She said, listen, this man is going to take care of my children. She said, don't my crew will come out of New York. Dog has to be ready to go to war with, with the guns. This sister will fight. I love her today. She's a good sister, man. And Nikki, ah. Nikki, Nikki, Frank Matthews, all of them had her back. They said, if them Negroes want a problem, because let me tell you, and listen to me closely. Had that not been from Jeremiah, Bummy was going to kill all of them. Mm. Bummy was going to kill them all, bro. I ain't saying no movie shit. Bummy was going to kill them all. Jeremiah got the word, and we got the bumping in 19, in, in the early 60s, we got the bumping. When Malcolm went to see bumping, Malcolm Bumpy said, I kill them all, including Elijah. We'll find a way to get to him, we know he'll protect you. He said, but that little fat, that little fat drunk out of Detroit, Yusuf Shaw, he never called him Yusuf Shaw. <laughs> Bumpy called him Joseph, Joseph the, the, Joseph the, the drunk. <laughs> See, they didn't play with Bumpy. They were scared of Bumpy. They knew that Malcolm was saving because he didn't want no bloodshed between the brothers. That's one part in the movie that was true. Malcolm didn't want no bloodshed. He told Jeremiah. See, today, I believe Malcolm would have been here if Allah hadn't called him for other reasons. Had Malcolm would have changed the fellas up because 25 feared number 12. They didn't want to go to war with us because they know you go to war with us, your children might go, your mother might go, everybody might go. See what I'm saying? We didn't play them games. Twelve took everybody. We didn't leave nobody but a white man to question. We didn't leave nobody to come back 20 years later. So, as I told you before, the only reason is that King Kurt and Jerry Bus is that bum Kareem still here. Mm. See what I'm saying, bro? But a lot of business was being conducted out of that steak and tape. Bumpy used to come there all the time. Brother just said, Malcolm said he don't have to pay for nothing. That's the God's problem. That's Bumpy. Malcolm had respect for him. That's why he told Malcolm the first one on the list would have been Joseph the Drunk. He called, used to show Joseph the Drunk. Bro, I got some sisters on your block. There's a sisters on your block. You remember a restaurant when you was a kid right across the street of your block called Serena's? I, I don't recall, no. How about A. Dell's on Fifth Avenue? It was another soul food joint called A. Dell's uh, on yeah. Fifth Avenue. Yeah, 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 I've heard of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. A. Dell used to show was screwing the mama and the daughter, and the daughter was about 16, 17 at that time. So he's everybody talking about Elijah. You got to talk about the guys around Elijah that had Elijah happen. Bro, I can tell you some stuff that you don't really know, bro. Mm. 